Right, okay, it's Keith. Following the video I put up yesterday about the Mini Beast, uh, the UK Mini Beast, we had a few comments about people using their various gadgets to heat the hot water when you've got uh, excess solar. And I said, you don't need it. Well, absolutely you don't need it. But one of the things I commented on, one of the comments is, why ours is so good? Well, we haven't got a little gadget or gizmo. We've got one benefit. We've got a battery connected to this, a huge storage battery. What we need to do is when you're heating a hot water tank, is power the full power of the immersion or whatever you're going to heat. So if it's a two kilowatt, you want to switch in two kilowatts and switch. Now, obviously, as the solar comes excess, you can put it in. But what we can do is we have a battery and we can set what they call a hysteresis. So when the battery reaches 100 percent, we put the full two kilowatts of the hot water, not one kilowatt, not five and more, the full two kilowatts of the heater really does work and it works its most efficient. And then when the solar maybe drops to say 90 percent or 85 percent, we switch it off. That's how a hot water tank works. It has a bimetal strip. It has a thermostat in it. It's off and on. You don't control the hot water tank with a dimmer switch. So if you're putting a little bit of power and varying the power going into the hot water and compared to a standard using a hysteresis application, then the hysteresis application is because the element is run the full power, the correct operating thing, and plus the facts, a heating element, when you run it in lower power, the element is cooler. When it's hot, it's warmer. Therefore, the resistance of the element will vary. So therefore, our system, using our auxiliary output and using the hysteresis method, is actually the best method. Otherwise, you would have dimmer switches on hot water tanks and hot heaters and all of that. It doesn't work. It's always done by hysteresis. So that's one of the reasons. And one of the things you can do is, on our, on our unit, we have on the, on the auxiliary load, and we set the auxiliary, and we can, actually, we can actually set at the level which it comes on and off. So we've got an output here, an auxiliary output, and when, the, when it comes on, when it's 100%, off at 95%, we can change that to bit. We can change that to other figures if we want to. So we can have the, that's called the hysteresis, an on level and off level. And you often hear that term, and that's how ours operates. And that's why, that's why the mini beast it's the best on the market. I keep telling everybody and people say, well, I don't explain it enough. So we're changing these videos and we're trying to explain why our product is so good compared to other products. Thanks for following.